I don't want to sit down. Well, then let's dance. And I don't want to dance. What's the matter with you tonight? Listen, I'm tired of being subtle. Scram. B-O-T-P. Beat it off of the porch. All right, Phineas Whipsnade. But let me tell you something. I'll never buy gas for your car again. Oh. Mm. Oh, you care for some punch? No, thanks. Oh, possibly stuffy in there. <laughs> it was. Yeah, I guess my collar's welded. <laughs> well, I was lucky I brought a change. <laughs> But as I was saying, you know, Mother's going to be quite upset about not being able to go to Europe. Mm, she'll miss her Baden-Baden. Uh, Bears, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Bermuda instead. Oh, that'll be nice. You know, you'd like Bermuda. Oh, I'm sure mm. I would. Vicky, why don't you... I've you changed my mind. I believe I'll have some punch now. Punch? Did you say punch? Oh. Excuse me. Well... Well, then, well what? When's the wedding? What wedding? You didn't turn him down a game. Phineas, I've told you a million times. I'm not in love with Roger, so please forget it. Love. You give me a pain in the neck. There's a guy that's gonna get a pile of dough the day he gets married, and he's just begging you to take it. Well, I'm not interested. Oh, one sister, and she has to be a half-wit. That's a no. Listen, sister dear. Roger's going to get tired being pushed around, and he's going to grab someone that isn't so dumb. As usual, Phineas, you have an angle? Sure I have. Straight from the shoulder. You get a rich husband, and I get a swell job in his father's bank. And I'm going inside. Wait a minute, Vicky. You won't think of your own future. You might think of the old man. What's Dad got to do with it? Well, I happen to know that he's having a plenty tough time. He could use a little help now, after all he's gone through to keep us in college. His last letter said everything was fine. Sure. His letter also said the circus would be in Bridgetown yesterday. But where was he? I tell you, he's in hock up to his ears. I don't believe it. Okay. Go on your merry way and let the old man wind up behind the eight ball. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Phineas. Hello, Roger. Say, that's a swell new car you got out there. Sixteen cylinders. It is? Mm -hmm. Say, how's chances to use it for a few minutes? Oh, surely. Have the driver take you any place you want to go. Gee, thanks. Uh, Oh, who is it? New girl? Same one. Oh. <laughs> Where are we going? Sorry to be so long, but I'm standing in the line. <laughs> This, Sheriff, he'll be across that state line before we can get him. I'm doing the best I can, Mr. Burr. Well, keep working on it. Maybe you can get a little more speed out of it. I got it right down on the floorboard now. got away from us. Just as far as I can go. I'll get him if I have to chase him through every state in the union. They take me back to the sheriff's office. Oh! 
a week to learn me this business. Wait a minute. You can't yes, do that. The union yes. says in a... You'll keep final... out of this. No, I won't keep out of it. The it... union says the minimum wage on assistance is 15 smacks a week. Oh, he's right. He's right. Oh, I, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, young man. He's quite fine. 15. How much you got there? 10 cents. 10 cents. 14 dollars. Another dollar, please. 15 is right, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, 15. 14. Have you a half a dollar? Hey, I don't get it. I got it, and I'm going to keep it, too. Oh, cha-ching! All leaving the window. Two <laughs> four-bit ducats. Oh, thank you very much. A ten-dollar bill. Ten smackers. Thank you very much. There you are. That's one. That's two. Three. Uh, pardon me. Got a little pneumonia here. Two, three. Paul? Come on, step on it. I won't walk another step. Make him drag you, lady. He got you drunk. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You gave me a $20 bill, did you? Ten and twenty, twenty. Count your cheese before leaving the window. Now you Thank take you. the Wagner Act. You take them. We had them last summer. The worst act of bats I ever saw. Liquor addicts. That guy talks too much. He counted three, four, five, three times. Did you hear him? Yeah. And in this honest to Kevin? He'd do the same thing to us, wouldn't he, if he had a chance? Yeah, I'll split them. One, two. Well, there's only five dollars here. He's double the bills. Look. You mean he's cut this? He thinks he has. Come on. Listen, you'll hear from me. That's fine. Don't telegraph right. There's been a mistake in my change. Ah, at long last, an honest man. Want to return some money? No, I'm short. Well, don't brag about it. I'm only five feet eight for sale. Uh, I mean, I'm short in my money. No mistake, Rick. If I have to work, leaving the window. You're dishonest. Dishonest? Me, Shaq, Shadrach, and Abednego. You cheated us. Sal, you impugned my honor. As my dear old grandfather, Lickbox, said, just before they sprung the trap, he said, you can't cheat an honest man. Never give a sucker an even break or smarten up a chump. We want what's coming to us. Uh, I'm gonna get it, too. You are? Yeah. You, too? Yeah, come on, give it to us. You are certainly both gonna get it. Look at that. What do you mean, my kid? You can't do this. Come on, get on. 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 Get I tell you, we're, we're being chipped. Yeah, it looks like it. We do all the work and we don't get any money. I know. I'll have to talk to Whipsnake. Talk? Action. That's what we need. Well, what can we do? Well, I've been reconnoitering, see? And I know where he keeps his money. Charlie. Uh, so what? Well, I want to get my lunch hooks on it. You stay away from that box office. Thirty, you got to fight fire with fire. Crooks with crookery. Oh, forget it. Thank you. Yes. You know, he takes a shower every day at 2 o'clock. I said forget it. Oh, all right, all right. Just thinking, that's all. Get up, Napoleon. Try to go. Thank you. Step right up. The big show is now going on. Thank you. It's time for the side show, Mr. Ribsteak. Ribsteak. It don't mean uh, sirloin with onions by any chance, do you? It's whip snake. <laughs> Broken my metacarsal bar. The square, ladies and gentlemen, the square, right up on this platform. The world's greatest novelty. The punk walk queens. Elwood and Brentwood. Elwood. He is ten minutes older than Brentwood and has been in a hurry ever since. Ladies and gentlemen, Brentwood. He is the smallest giant in the world. 
Wilkes, wife's his brother, Elwood, he is the largest midget in the world. They battle science. I'll tell you, you're dishonest. Quiet. Gee, listen to that guy lie. Quiet, Fermite's bluffhound. Did, did, you you did you hear that? Did you hear that? Boy, that, that's the last straw. That little, I'm going. Now, if you'll take one short step with me to the next. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> Up to Daisy. What a flopper. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. On this platform, we have the great Edgar and his whispering pine, Charlie McCarthy, the baffle science. Are you eating a tomato or is that your nose? Shh. Oh, that's your nose. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good, Charles. You must come down with me after the show to the lumber yard and ride piggyback on the buzz saws. Nobody's going to find me after the show. <laughs> uh, yes, they are. You'll be hanging in my window as a Venetian blind. <sighs> That makes me shudder. Quiet, or I'll throw a woodpecker on you, ladies and gentlemen. So help me, I'll clip that guy, I'll mow him down. That's what I'll do. Now, be just be quiet. Yeah, that's what I don't care. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for my first experiment, I want to call your attention to this mystic cabinet. Mystic holy. This cabinet is entirely unprepared. Sorry, you. It consists of three walls. And a false bottom. You can see it right down there. Ow. Will you stop that? Well, will you stop that? All right. And now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the little Maharaja. Where? No, no, you. Me? Yes, of course. Oh, yes, yes. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? Well, hello. Hello. Oh, all right, if you say, will you sit back there? <laughs> my right name is Charlie McCarthy, but I don't get any billing. Oh, will you please sit back there and let me finish this experiment? <laughs> yeah. And now we'll go ahead, and I will cause this little man to completely disappear. You'll do what? Yes, and then reappear. <laughs> Hell, you better. Yeah. Very made to five, he can do it, and I'll double cross him. Will you please? Huh? Are you ready? Huh? Are you ready? For lunch? No, 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 the experiment. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Go ahead, buddy, take it away. Yes. Uh, wait a minute, wait. Uh, what's your phone number? <coughs> oh, will you pull it? All right, will you sit back? Okay. Uh, now we'll go. Uh, don't go away. Oh! Well, I now call upon the powers of Yagabamba. Go. <laughs> One smoke hand coming up. Right, right. And now to prove that the cabinet is empty and that the Maharaja has disappeared, I will force this sword right through. Not yet, not yet, not yet. <clears throat> Hurry up. One, two. Okay. Ouch. And there you see for yourself, he has gone. And now as quickly as the bullet flies from the magic pistol, the Maharaja shall return to his throne. Oh, you got me. And there he is. What are you doing here? Hmm? I said, what are you doing here? Well, I don't know. You don't know? No, uh, uh, Charlie said it. I... Oh, so Charlie's in back of this. Is he? Well, he said it would make the trick twice as good. He did? Yeah. Yes, well, you've made the trick just twice as bad. Well, is that so? Yeah. Well, I knew it was twice as something. Yes, well, now, will you please get out of here? Yes, ma'am. Charlie, will you let me down? Oh, 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 well, Charlie, will you let me down? Don't have to fall on me. Well, don't have to fall on me. That concludes my performance, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Telegram for larceny whip snake. Uh, street cabin. Telegram for larceny whip snake. Uh, messenger you, boy. Thank you. Larceny whip snake? Give me that telegram. It's not larceny, it's larceny. And it's not whip snake, it's whip snake. Okay, snake, how about a tip? I'll give you a tip. I'll part your hair with a wagon tongue. Shoot you down in the mackerel. That's what I do to you, you. What's the Well, I guess you're satisfied. That's what I thought. I want to tell you something. As long as you were in this show, cut out those peccadillos. It's too much of the tomboy in you. Ah, there you are now. Get me out. Get me out. Give me a hand! How about a ticket? I've got a dog on my foot here! Go, Snake! Quit slamming the 
I want to tell you the sword swallower's got tonsillitis. Can't go on. Tears of false staff. I haven't swallowed a sword in 20 years. I'm taking on the personality of a Mexican jumping bean. First, the contortionist gets rheumatism. Then the sword swallower gets tonsillitis. Hope nothing happens to that fan dancer. Until I get rid of this cold anyway. What is that? Ah, saint bon. You're saying French. Perfume de la Mountain Goat. Come on, Queenie. Let go of that provender and give. Give, Queenie! Give, Queenie! Come on! Come, girl! Hold your truck a little while longer this time. Kind of heat it up a bit. I'd rather have two girls at 21 each than one girl at 42. Get up! Give me a towel. Uh, these towels aren't big enough to dry your face on. Maybe you better use less water. Quite an idea. I thought those cassowaries got loose again. Yeah, you better put on your robe. You Thank you. It's cool. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh and uh. Forty cents and five makes forty-five. Five more makes half a buck. Money, 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 money. Beautiful whip snake money. <laughs> oh, that word. Help, bring it. Help, bring it. Help, help, help. 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 Charlie? Have you seen Charlie? No. Charlie? Have you seen Charlie? No, no. I haven't. Charlie? Which one are you in? How do I know? Get me out of all of them. Flackerman! Well, how did you get in there? Don't change the subject. How do I get out? Hey, Charlie's in one of these sandals. Oh, come on, boys. I'm just north of his liver. Oh, oh boy. Come in. Oh. Oui, let's see, let's see, let's see. Allez, tout le monde, vite, vite. Will you fellas help me get him? We'll have you out in a minute, Charlie. Yeah, all right. I wish I had a flashlight. Oh, sure. Oh, oh, oh. Easy, boys. Easy. What are you doing, dancing or wrestling? Oh, oh. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. Easy. Oh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the next act on the program is Buffalo Bella, the only bearded lady sharpshooter in the wild. Here he comes now, here he comes. Okay. Help yourself to popcorn, the rocks are in the box. What is all this mumbling? Uh, just singing, that's all, singing. Shh, singing, singing. All right, all right, it's okay. Come on, Pegasus. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the largest gentleman pony in the world. Come on, Pegasus. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Re uh, 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 uh. But ready what? That's his name, Red. Oh, that's his name. Oh. Uh, shooting glass balls while perched on the bank. I'm a wild perch around pony. And name the rhymes with aim. Oh, there go. Oh, a bullseye. <laughs> Evidently, you bangy in the fuel supply. Enjoying it? Yes, yes, thank you. Yes. He's very clever. Yes, he is. He seldom misses. What? Uh, oh, I mean... Uh, he hasn't hit anything yet. Oh. What do you mean? Uh, quiet, quiet, stranger, stranger. What's that? I don't know the kid. I, I don't know the kid. Die, 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 die. Oh, hidey, hoody, better loady. I wish to reiterate. Whilst bounding around the ring on this wild percheron, there the coast is clear. Oh, I where the smoke bears fire. fire. I'd feel more rosy if you'd hit him on the nosy. 
Oh, Suzanne. Uh oh. Scram, kids, scram, scram. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my performance. A bad cover of acrobats. I beg your pardon, miss. Huh? Can you tell me where I can find Whip Snade? Uh, no. My name's Schickelgruber. Gretchel Schickelgruber. Better known as Buffalo Bella. I thought Buffalo Bella was a bearded lady. Uh, yes, I just came to the barber shop. Oh, they gave me such a close shave, I feel naked. I... Hey, uh, come here. Come huh? here. Oh, wait a minute. No, wait. No, no, no. I, want to uh, uh, I used to be one of the uh, Schickelgruber sisters. Remember the Schickelgruber sisters? No, no. High Lofty no, Dumbling. No. no. Slackwire. Say, say, listen. Ground them. Would you like to make a few honest dollars for yourself? Would I have to be honest? I bought up the credit accounts of this circus, and I'm in control of the situation. Now, I'd like to buy up your IOUs for 10 cents on the dollar. When I own the circus, I'll make you the star, give you a half interest, and we'll rename it Buffalo Bella's Wild West. Won't that be ducky? Oh, that'll be wonderful. Hey, uh, are you interested in any other man? <laughs> I'm not the girl you take me for, you badums, you. You badums, you old badums, and you too. You badums, you. You badums. I'm going to take your watch and put my picture in it. I'll be back sometime, maybe. Hello there, Miss Victoria. How are you? Fine, any thanks. You're quite a stranger around here. That's not my fault. Hello, Bill. Right over the office. No, gonna pass me right up for you. Why, Miss Vicky, I never know you. Oh, I'll forgive you if you tell me where Dad is. I reckon he ought to be in the sideshow by now. Fine, see you later. Let's go. Let's go, I tell you. Oh, it's you. Not another cent. You kids are disgusting. Stagging around here all day, reeking of popcorn and lollipops. Come here, I don't want to break Gabby. What? My little dog died. Your dog died? Well, I don't care. Come here, you open, stuffed animal costume. I open stepped on your dog and squashed him? Where is he? I shoved him under the door. You shoved him under the door. Here, it's disgusting. Here, here's a quarter. Buy another dog. That ain't a dog. I let a big dog. A big dog will bite you. Now go ahead. Get it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Maya dog. <laughs> I guess he got better. Uh, I guess he did. Give me back that one. What's this? What's this loss? Huh? Oh, nothing's lost. Everything's okay. <laughs> and a fortune for you, you got a dress on, I'll bust you in the nose. And now you can see for yourself. He has gone. But as quickly as the bullet flies from this magic pistol, the Maharaja will return. You missed me a mile. And there he is. Where? Well, well, I, uh... <laughs> My friend, we must not attempt to understand the supernatural. But at least he has disappeared. <laughs> Are there any questions? Yeah. How do you get out of here? Charlie, right here. Charlie. Well, where are you? In front. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Bergen, you don't know what I've been through. Well, now, come out of there. Well, I can't come out. Well, why not? I'm caught on a nail. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Come in, and I'll show you. Charlie, come out of here. Uh, Will you stop this monkey business? I, we have to go on with the next trick. What trick? Well, it's where I saw you in two. Oh, that ought to be. You do what? Oh, no, you don't. Charlie. Charlie. Will you come out of there? I'm not here. Yes, you are. I'm in conference. See, see, whose idea was that? With me? Yes. Yeah, that's enough. Goodbye. Charlie. Charlie. Um, Charlie, let go, baby. Let go. Hey, Rob. Ch Charlie, no. Hey, hey, he stuck a knife in me. He stuck, he stuck a... Uh, uh. Who's that? That's Princess Baba. Baba? No. Baba. Goo goo. No. Princess Baba. She's my new assistant. She is mine too. Certainly. She holds your head in the next trick. She does, yes. Well, what are you keeping me in here for? Well, you said that you. Oh, come, come, come. This is no time for small talk. Let's get out of here. Well, right now. Oh, I didn't know. Santa, 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 Santa. 
How do you do? How do you do? You will be careful, won't you, Baba? Yes, my little lamb. Oh, Baba. I want to be a black sheep. Huh? Oh, excuse me. For my next experiment, I will saw the little Maharaja in half. I'm a victim of circumstances. <laughs> Charlie, huh? look at me. I'm busy. Charlie, scram, will you scram? Don't be afraid. Promise me it won't hurt. I promise. Uh, well, anything for science. <laughs> okay, Bergen, yes. Sleep, sleep. Say, what do you say? No. Huh? You're in a trance. Oh, he says I'm in a trance of... <laughs> Charlie, huh? I've got a good mind. Well, why don't you use it? Now, listen, Charlie. Oh, I know what you want. Do it again. All right. Sleep. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh. is made of solid oak. Come in. Watch this razor-sharp steel saw tear its way through the body of the little man. Oh. Don't worry. I'm here. Yes, but dash it all, I'm here. Just ignore him. <laughs> Bounder. Do you feel any pain? Just hunger pains, that's all. Hmm. Cut right through my breakfast. You see, the little man is perfectly normal, so we shall proceed. Doot, doot. We are now passing through the state of indigestion. Ah, that did it. I now separate the two halves to prove to you that there is absolutely no connection nor deception. If you please, princes. A uh, parting is such sweet sorrow, Shakespeare. In spite of this condition, the little man retains all his faculties. I command you, move your feet. Where? Over there. Are those night torches? Yes. Gee. Move your feet. Move the feet. Who, oh, me? No, 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 not you. Well, I didn't know what Charlie said about. <laughs> <laughs> You've been with the circus. What? Uh, too long. In fact, we look quite, quite. Yeah. Don't pay any attention to him. Oh, it was a very nice performance. Thank you very much. Back in. It's a pleasure to work with such a lovely audience. Uh, thank you. Did you really enjoy it? Oh, it was splendid. Oh. Yeah, my name is Charlie McCarthy. What's yours? Vicky. Oh, that's cute. Charlie. Uh, oh, Vicky, Mr. Bergen, Bergen, Vicky. How do you do? How do you do? You know, ventriloquism has always fascinated me. It has? Mm. Well, I'll be glad to explain it for you. Well, I'd love to know, but really, I must find... Oh, I... please stay. It'll just take a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Well, um, uh, ventriloquism, uh, it starts here uh -huh. and goes up here. And it comes out here. It comes out there, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tell me, how do you talk without moving your lips? Oh, now you're asking quite a bit. You're asking the wrong man. He's noticed it, too. <laughs> you're, um... Your voice isn't double-jointed, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, it's, uh, well, may I have your hand? <laughs> now, you can feel the muscles contract in my vocal cords. Vocal cords? Uh, oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Like this. You're lovely. Hmm? Did that come out of me? Uh, I'm a little confused, I guess. <laughs> yes. He's talking... Uh, <laughs> uh, can you throw your voice just anywhere? Oh, certainly, mm. yes. Uh, won't you sit down? Move over. Yeah, but how about the packing? Uh, later on, forget it. Yeah, forget, yeah, that's what I thought. I knew this would come. Yeah. Now, if you'll move your lips, I can make you talk. Are you ready? Ready. Oh. Uh, what is your name, little girl? Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> now you know how foolish I feel. Isn't it silly? <laughs> Would you meet me after the show? Oh, uh, no. uh, just move your lips. I'll do the talking. Will you meet me after the show? Oh, I'll be glad to. <laughs> Perfect. Now, that completes our first lesson. Are there any questions? Yeah, uh, am I intruding? You certainly are. Hey, Whipsnake! Hey, are you Whipsnake? Weinstrom? No, 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 Whipsnade, Whipsnade, you know. No, I only call it the English bracket. Ah, you dumb stoop. Yeah. 
There you go away. I break your throat. Break my foot at the spring. I think we can do much better if we start all over again. Yeah. So do I. Let's go. Oh, you stay out of it. Oh, okay, okay. Are you ready? Ready. What's your name, little girl? Vicky! Dad! Oh, Dad, darling. I guess we'll pack now, huh? <laughs> uh, what were you doing talking to the unholy two over there? Oh, I just stopped to catch their act. They're marvelous, Dad, really. Yeah? Oh, you were fortunate in acquiring their services. They'll be fortunate if we don't attend their services. You have to catch us first, you big... Have to catch us first. Can you imagine that? I hate him. Horse face. Uh, 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 let go of me. Why, Dad? He's not... Uh, uh, let's go this way. We won't be interrupted. By the way, tell me all about finishing yourself. Uh, why didn't he come along with you? I say, why didn't... Uh, why didn't he come along with you? Oh. I can't figure it out. Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Oh. Uh, I must read up on evolution sometimes. Well, it doesn't seem right. You mean we're not going to quit? Well, it wouldn't be fair to Mr. Whipsnade to leave like this. Why, you... you... Oh, I get it. I get it. She... she is beautiful, isn't she? Yes, she is. But, of course, that had nothing to do with my decision. Oh, no, no. You said you were going to quit, and now you... Listen, John, don't talk to me. Don't you want to meet her younger sister? Women in business don't mix. And, uh, has she got a younger sister? Yes, and lovely, too. Oh, oh, oh. hmm. I'm beginning to see your point now. That's why I say we, we shouldn't be too hasty. No. Let's not do anything we'll be sorry for. Exactly. You're right. It wouldn't be fair to Mr. Whitsnade or his daughters. Catch on? Yes. <laughs> How's everything going, Dad? Oh, fine, dear. Last night they were packed in so tightly. They couldn't applaud that way. I had applaud this way. Let me do that for you. Uh, oh, thank you, dear. Yeah. You need someone to take care of you. Ah, quite the antithesis. My little plum. I was hoping you'd let me come stay with you. Oh, no, dear, no, dear. I couldn't break that promise to your dear old mother. I want you kids with the circus. Another thing, what's happened to that young squirt that uh, Phineas tells me you're running around with? Well, I'm still going with him. He's very rich. Why, uh, why don't you marry him? What about you, Dad? Ah, dear, nobody can ever take your mother's place. Besides, circus doing great business. I don't owe a cent. Salary's all paid I up to date. Money. What? I want my money. Pardon me, dear. All right, Mr. Prunkwark, go right ahead. Be right back, dear. Got change for a hundred dollar bill? No, that's fine. I offer you your salary and you haven't changed. That's sabotage. All I want's my salary. Ah, <laughs> glutton. <laughs> yes, indeed, yes, indeed. You'll get your salary and olives and mustard, too. Yeah. Uh, I'll be by right back in a minute. Yeah, yeah, it's right back in the head. Let go of me, will you? Is this a wax new? Why, that's no. It's Windshade, or Whip's Knee. Whip's Knee, yeah. Yes, yeah, a Whip's Knee. Uh, the ventriloquist has got a tent full of old fees. He can't go on. Why not? Uh, he's got the hiccups. But the hiccups? Tell him to right over. Yes, sir. Oh, that's that drawing. What is the hold up? No, we were trying to cure our hiccups. I'm afraid I can't go on. Uh, here, give me this. No, don't touch me. Well, no. the quarters. No. Why don't you sandpaper that whipple tree? Uh, I'll spell it in my finger again. That's good. Listen, John, remember he's the boss. I don't, I don't care. Someone has to go up on. Well, l let him monkey around with Oliver. Oliver. Yes, you can have uh, Oliver. Very good. Uh, take uh, uh, Oliver. Here, put him at my pitch. I'll be right up there. That reminds me, I must order crack crab for dinner tonight. Oh, we certainly fooled him, huh? Yes, now let's hurry up and get our clothes changed. Vicky's waiting. Oh, is she? Yes. Is her sister with her? Who? Her sister. Oh, has Vicky a sister? Oh, yes, yes, she has a lovely 
What's that? Why you said she did? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I had to do that. Yeah, why you double cross her? You, 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 you can't. You, you, you whip snake. I am. I, I a little castle in the air. Unusual place for a rendezvous. Unusual, but exclusive. I'll let you in on a secret. When I was a little girl traveling with Dad's circus, this was always my favorite hideaway. Oh. By any chance, did your father ever find you up here? Oh, many times. He did? Uh, let's get <laughs> out of here. It's all right. I think we're safe with Charlie as our lookout. Charlie. <laughs> I don't think we can count on Charlie. He's acting very disagreeable today. I don't have to come up here to be insulted, thank you. Oh, Charlie, what's the matter? Have I said something to hurt your feelings? Oh, sorry. It's a certain thing. He's sulking because I told him you had a sister. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Follow me to this platform. We have the creek. Keep on going. I have it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, special announcement. On this platform, the creek whips me. Ventriloquist extraordinary. He will be assisted by his little friend, Oliver. Ladies and gentlemen, whip snake. The creek. Ladies and gentlemen. I thank you for this mental and silent reception. Mr. Whitney? Yes, Oliver? Can I ask you a conundrum? Why, certainly, Oliver. Go right ahead and ask me. What is it? Mr. Whitney? Why is a cat's tail like a long journey? I don't know, Oliver. Why is a cat's tail like a long journey? Because it's spur to the end. Because it's... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think of that? Thinking and singing simultaneously. It baffles science. Proceed, Oliver. His heart was set on becoming a banker and wearing a high silk hat. How did you come to join the circus? Well, I was a dignified college teacher. One day I dropped my dignity and flew the coop. Must be fun working with Dad, though. Oh. Yes, there is Dad, isn't there? You can say that again. Well, you like him, don't you? <laughs> Talk yourself out of that one. Well, he must have some fine qualities. After all, you're his daughter. Maybe she takes after her mother. Oh, quiet. You're a lookout, so why don't you keep quiet and look out? Hi, aye, aye, sir. But you look out. And he treated Virgin poor alike, and it was long before he had accumulated nearly a thousand dollars in his own right. Away, boy, you draw flies. And he charged him $500 and told him that was practically nothing. He returned to the village to see his old sweetheart. She looked coyly through the imitation lace curtains. She gained a pounds in the 10 years he'd been away. Dad means a lot to me. Whenever I'm upset or things don't go well, I run right to him. He's the one person I can always count on. Well, now, wait a minute. You can count on me. <laughs> I know, Edgar. I'm grateful for your loyalty. Loyalty? Is that what you call it? What should I call it? Well, if you ask me, I call it mush. Well, I didn't ask you. Well, I told you anyway. Why don't you keep quiet? Oh, why don't you tell her you love her and quit beating around a balloon? Well, that's enough of that. Well, I, oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the... Uh... I dropped something. Hope it didn't hit anybody. Set one. Calico dress. Help me, and gentlemen. I'm going to try for Palmer. Two bells and two cigars. Two bells and two cigars. What'd you do, eat five, huh? Jiggers, jiggers, jiggers. No, 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 no. Want to make an easy five dollars? Sure. I want you to chop some wood for me. Follow me. Sure. I can't understand why that fella hit us. Yeah. Gee, he didn't even give me a chance to insult him. I just opened my eye and a fist flew in. Gee. Must have been a mistake. Yeah, sure, sure. You know what I think? I smell a rodent. And I do mean whip snake. Oh, I don't think he would do anything like that. <laughs> oh, oh, Bergen, don't be so naive. Victoria, dear. Some weasel took the cork out of my lunch. Then a lump pot comes along and spills it all over the place. I was fit to be tied. I was Honestly, Dad, you and your lump pot. Dad? Dad? 
Yeah, he might be in here. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you what. You go around and I'll go through. Yeah, we'll bottle him up. <clears throat> there, that's the last dab. Yeah, and I'll resent every dab. You do. Yeah. Well, forget it. Yeah. You want to look at yourself? I don't care how I look. No, you look very cute. I don't, I don't care how, I don't. Doggone, is that me? <laughs> I was shot in my mouth. Say, you know, I do look kind of cute. Yes, you do. So, you little rascal, you. <laughs> yeah, see? Uh-oh, here comes old rubber nose. You. Hide your gold teeth. <laughs> ah, hello, Edgar. Oh, hello. Hello, Charles, my little eggplant. Yeah, hello. Little Nipper have his napper out the window last night as we went through the tunnel? Yeah, uh, that ain't funny. I'm blacked up. Oh, uh, he's got a mouse. Why, you have a mouse on your eye also. Yeah, and we know the rat who did it, too. Yes, he certainly earned his, uh, my heart bleeds for the little chap. Hey, you. Seen Whipsnade around here? What? Whipsnade. Fat fellow with a big red nose. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come in, Sheriff. I think we can help you all. Pulling in the coffin <laughs> and the corner. Ha, the corner. Ha, 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 ha. <coughs> yeah. Hey, what's it worth to you if I point out with Snade? I'll give you five dollars if you point him out. Five bucks. Ask my little magnolia twig. Here's the ten dollars I owe you. Just have to think yeah. of that. Well, thank you, Mr. Wh me of it, huh? Thank you, Mr. Wh <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, you can smell coffee. You wouldn't give twenty, would you? Charles, I want you to hold my hat with oh, 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 Let me out of here. Oh, I'm blind. Lights. Hey, boss! Boss! Don't, uh, don't call me horse. Now, be the loving little piccadilly you've always been. Show these gentlemen around the circus. They want to find Mr. Whipsnade, the entrepreneur. Entrepreneur? Quick, yes, yes. Quick, 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 quick. Come, oh, come, come. Gentlemen, he'll show you. What? Nothing to worry about. He'll show you just where to go. I don't care. I got ten dollars. Yeah, he'll show you where to go. I got ten dollars. Oh, oh, money. Oh, oh, get it, can I go? No, no. Come on, come on. Share, share. Shut up. Uh, uh, Oh, he's a cannibal. Oh, sheriff. Shut up. It's the sheriff. He's got my hat, too. Oh, get him, Burton. Get him. All right. Here, Queenie. Some elephant's caviar. Take it. Or leave it. My hat. Give, Queenie. Shh. Cease, Queenie. Cease, Queen. Missed him, darn it. Thank you, Charles. I shall send over a couple of pet beavers to romp with you. I'm innocent, so help me. Yes, I suppose it was the wine through the whispering pines that said, Give, Queenie. Give. She's Queenie. She's Queen. <laughs> you shouldn't say, Give, Queenie. <laughs> She's Queenie. She's Queen. <laughs> Red Rattles. Get him, Sheriff. Rattles. Can't fool us any longer, Whipsnake. Take it. Can't clear our way hands on you. This circus detached, and I'm serving you with this summons. I served them on in that time. Uh, you haven't served me, you served Queenie. Hey, you'll pay Dick for this. Dick Condedicto. Constructing justice. Yeah. Yeah, we'll come back with a paper that'll put you in jail where you belong. Well, that's fine. If I'm not here, don't wait for me. Wait a minute, please. How much is this circus in debt? $3,500. Why? I just wanted to know, thank you. Uh. What? You... You will? Oh, Vicky, darling, you've made me the happiest person in the world. I... We'll make it Saturday night. Fine. <laughs> well, goodbye, darling. Oh. Robinson, I'm going to be married. Very good, sir. Your tea. No. Father. Father, I'm going to get married. Why? I had to stand there while she talked. Now I can understand what caused the separation. She's one of those women who never stop talking. Mother. Uh, Mother. Roger. Mother is talking. How did she look? Oh, well, I'm not the kind of woman who wants to talk about anyone but her hat. Mother, her I'm going to get married. Really? How nice. Well, girls, it's a... Married, did you say? Saturday night. Saturday? Oh, that'll be lovely.
lovely. We're having the party anyway. Of course you're all coming. <laughs> well, dear, this dress was atrocious. Mm. I hear she waits for all the sales. Oh, well, that's not the only thing she waits for. Really, you would be shocked. <laughs> Roger. Roger! Oh, isn't that like the silly boy? He forgot to tell me who he's marrying. Or did he? No. Nope. Well, Mrs. Mites, you must forgive me for the Children, half price. Main entrance right over to the left. Thank you. What a pity your dear mother isn't here to share this joy with us, dear. She's the first woman to ever wear jodhpurs with an evening bask. She carried a riding crop at the same time. She hit me over the head with it once. Thought I was flirting with one of the girls in the show. It's nothing to do it, though. She would have been the cynosure of all eyes at your wedding. Excuse me, Dad. I want to go over and see Edgar and Charlie before I go. Uh, well, they're waiting for me over at the balloon. Oh, well, all right, dear. I'm going over there now, and uh, you uh, you pack here. I'll bring them back with me. Right. Yeah, you, I'll be right back with them. I'll bring them both here. Oh, Vicky, Vicky, Vicky. All I hear is Vicky. Well, Charlie, don't you understand? Yeah, I get it. Love, huh? Yes, Charlie, I think it really happened this time. Poor boy, poor boy. Well, Charlie, you could help me. All right, I will. But now, if I'm nice to Whitney, which is asking plenty of you, and you propose to Vicky, yes, and she turns you down, well, then will you quit? Of course. Then there'll be nothing to stay for. Okay, it's a deal. All right. And you will be sweet to Whitney. I'll be more than sweet. I'll be sickening. I see. Oh, oh. I'll even go so far as, uh oh, speak of the pole cat, and there he is. Good afternoon, Charles. My night blooming jasmine. My nostrils quiver at your pungent aroma. Oh, thank you. That's quite a compliment, considering the size of his nose. Oh. You know, Mr. Whipsnade, Charlie and I were just saying that we should forget this ill feeling between us. Ill feeling? I have never been conscious of any quibbling. Oh, that's fine, isn't it? Yes, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> well, we know beneath your rough exterior there beats an honest and tender heart. Nice going. Oh, thank you, thank you, Edgar. I'll top it. We think you're the softest hard-boiled egg in the world. How's that? Oh, thank you, Charles. Thank you for those sweet pretties. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Bergen is that way about Vicky. Oh, yes? Yes, sir. He's waiting to propose to her now. Yes, I have hopes of being your son-in-law. And you, hope springs eternal. That the mere mention of her name, he rises to ethereal heights. That's what I had in mind. Hey! Help, 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 help. help. Give my right. ethereal respects to St. Peter. Somebody help. 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 I want for uh, We're loose. Help. 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 We're loose. Help. Help. He's hit me. Get up. I'm hit me. Dad, what on earth? How's that good, Charlie? They'll take a run out, Father Ronis. I understand on very good authority. They've absconded with our balloon. Come on, let's go. Oh, Dad, I can't believe it. No, it's, it's incredible. But as your grandma Litbock used to say, never trust a ventriloquist or a barber. Come on, let's, let's go. Watch yourself. Come on. No. Oh. Look, Charlie. Why, he did it on purpose. I agree with you. Yeah. You suppose he resented the idea of my being your son-in-law? Yeah. Well, from where I am now, I'd say yes. I know you're going to be very happy, Vicky. What's that? Oh, come on now, now. Be brave. Be brave. You know, getting married is like buying a new horse. Going to a strange saloon. Sometimes the joke... It's not that dead. I... <laughs> See you tonight, dear. All right, dear. Goodbye. He certainly separated us from Terra. Ooh. You're not scared, are you? Bergen, this is neither the time nor place for lying. I do. Oh, 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 oh. Do, do something. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? What was that? We hit something. We hit... No, no. Oh. Uh, what, what was that? Oh. <sighs> Probably in their pocket. Yeah. Pocket has a bottom in it. I... I don't... I have not I know if he... Oh, oh. Oh, 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 that's got to stop. What? Oh, that's no good. That's going to do it. What's the matter, Charlie? I'm getting seasick. You mean they're sick? Uh, what's the difference? I'm sick. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. I do. Hold me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, just throw me out, Bergen. No. Oh. Hang on, Charlie. Hang on, John. Oh, 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 o
Don't you? Hey, what are you doing here? On the stowaway. A stowaway? Yeah. Why? Well, I don't know. Charlie's in. Oh, come on. Oh, I didn't know. Come on. Fine sort of thing. All right, all right. What's the matter? Well, there's plenty of the matter. We're in a free balloon. Free? Don't nobody own it? Oh, no. What I mean is we're in a runaway balloon. Oh, a runaway. <laughs> Let her run. <laughs> no. It's untied. Yeah? Well, why don't you tie her up again? All you got... Oh. Guess you waited too long, huh? Yes, you might say that. Yeah. Well, where's the rope? Well, that's just it. It's been cut. Been cut? Yes. Well, what's holding us up? Well, the gas bag is. Gas bag? Yes. Gas bag holds up. Oh, yeah. Well, who holds the gas bag up? Well, gas holds it up. Yeah? Gas is lighter than air, and that's why we rise. That's the principle of a balloon. No. Yes. Uh, gas lighter than air, and principle of a balloon. Yes. Uh, no. I don't think it'll work. Oh, of course it'll work. It's not ordinary gas. Oh. No good for cooking, no. No. Oh, will you cut it out, Martin, there? What's the matter? You want a pork chop, Charlie? No. <laughs> Well, what's he talking about? Oh, never mind that. The important thing is, how are we going to get down? Well, let's see. Oh. Let's see. I could climb up on top of the bag and push it down. Oh, no. no. How can you be so ignorant? Well, <laughs> it ain't easy. No. 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 <laughs> Hang on, boys. Hang on. The balloon can't stay in this tree. No, well, neither can I. Well, we'll have to jump. Jump? Man, you'll kill yourself. Well, I have a seat pack here. Yeah, well, what good is that? Well, it'll save our life. That little cushion? Yes. Yeah? Well, throw it out. But you gotta be pretty darn smart to land on it. Oh, you're as bad as Mortimer. This is a parachute. Oh, a parachute. Yes. Yeah. It'll open up. Yeah, you hope. Yes. Well, are you jumping or are you staying? Yeah, well, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to jump. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're jumping. All right, then. That's what I want to know. Now, hang on. We'll be ready to go in a minute. Got this get a dance get I'm singing in the basket. Like a little birdie, I'm flying through the sky. Let I, the sky, the sky. All right, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Aren't you jumping, Mortimer? No, I like it up here. You would, the sap. I'm sentimental. <laughs> well, open up that thing now. All right, now, Charlie, first we jump, count five, yeah. and then we pull this ring. Oh, boy, it's getting more complicated all the time. Five, 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 five. One. Five. No, keep quiet. Two. Five. Three. Hello. It don't mean a thing if you don't pull that string. Five, 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 five. All right, five. Hey. Oh, why? You see, you're all scared about nothing. Oh, who was scared? <laughs> Say, that umbrella won't turn inside out, will it? No, no, I tell you, there's nothing more to worry about. All right, I don't worry, Bergen. You know me. Ha, ha, ha. There's one thing to remember now. Yeah. When we strike the ground, pull your knees up. Yeah. I know all about that. That's so you won't break a leg. Yeah, well, that's logical. What's that? Oh! Oh, oh, oh please! Oh, oh, it's all right. Oh, Stop oh, please! Jump for your life, Kelly! Here comes one! Oh, 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 get those trucks! Get this thing off my head! Oh, oh, Lady, there's nothing I can do. But I've got to get out of here. It's a free country. It was all my fault. You can let her go. You'll have to wait until the judge gets here. You said that an hour ago. And I'll say it again. Cossack. What's that? You shouldn't talk that way, gentlemen. Then can I use your telephone? You'll have to wait until the judge gets here. Oh, no, all right. Oh, there, there. I want you to stand here during the ceremony. If you yes. come up here, everybody. That's right. That's, it'll soon be uh, Roger. Where's Roger? Oh, Roger. Yes, yes. Roger, now, I want you and Victoria to walk along here. See, here, come. Where is Victoria? She's late. Late? But she can't be late at her own wedding. I don't get excited, my oh, dear. Oh, who's getting excited now? Now, don't stand here, everybody. They'll soon be here, you know. <clears throat> Did you want to see me? Yes, I did. 
On account of your own impeachable integrity and business perspicacity, you know what that is, don't you? Well, that's fine. Well, on account of that, I'm going to leave you in charge of the circus tonight whilst I go over to Passamaquoddy and announce my uh, daughter's marriage. If anybody comes around here and asks for me, you just say uh, he's around the place somewhere. You can remember that, can't you? Well, what are you going to say to them if they come around and ask for me? Well, that's okay. That's even better. Well, I'll be back in time to get the show out of town as usual. What? Stop it! What are you? Stop it, will you? Trouble with you, young man, is you got too much of the dictator in you. Here's your key, boss. Thanks. Give me that coat. Don't hand it to me that way. Hold it out. Uh, how's the house tonight? Biggest crowd we ever had. That's fine. Yeah, they all belong to some kind of lodge. Yeah, we're getting lodge members now. Yeah, the uh, lapel pullers. Lapel pullers? Never yeah. heard of them. They just do that and walk right in. Oh, they're coppers. Give me my cape. I just gave it to you. Give it? Where is it? Well, I... There it is. Give it to me. I hate you. Stop! Now, cleave me to the ground, the both of you. Starting to mutiny around me. What happened to the boy that held apple on his head tonight? I shot a little low. Hit him right down there in the abdomen. Yes. A bullet, yeah. Yes. Don't ask so many questions. Sheriff, over here. Okay. Look at the gas and oil. Come on, Queen. Stop that man. Stop it. Sir, you go back and get your men. I'll get the car. Yeah. Victoria will be here very soon. We're just waiting for her, you Mrs. know. Mrs. Uh, I'm sure she'll be here any moment. Uh, you see, she's motoring down with Father. Father? Oh, Queenie. Here, take over these reins, groom. Wait a minute. It's a funny place to have a doorknob. I get it. There you are. Okay. Your card, sir. Car? I don't need a card. Well, the people speak a civilized town. The name of Whipsnade is a household word. Take it or leave it. Well, well. What a wiki now. Huh? Oh. Well, just once more, please. Ring them once more, please. Well, well. Wait a minute. Give me a break on the advertising. Just a little break. Put it up this way. See, very modest, just in black and white, no colors. Put it over there. Where's the bar? Dad! Finish, my son. This is the proudest moment of my life. I'm glad to see you too, Dad. Ah, what a wiki up I have here. Where's the mom? They're in there, Dad. Quiet. Oh, well, right. Where's Vicky? Oh, she'll be here in half a tick, just pripping out. A lot of necks washed here tonight. Wait a minute. What are you doing there? Wait a minute. Come here, Dad. I was leaving that cape there for a little advertisement. Now, look, huh? you know these people are society people. I know, the creme de la creme. That's it? Yeah. Do they have what they call noblesse of please. That's we it. have acrobats with our circus. I know, but they, they don't know you're in the circus, so please don't mention it. Oh, I got a button on my lip. No. I told them, I told them that you deal in wild animals, so they think you're a big game hunter. Oh, leave it to me. I'll explain anything I've left That's alone. It, Am I intruding? Not at all. Roger, this is my father. Dad, this is Roger Belgoody the third. Oh, hello, How Roger. You How are you? Uh, your future son-in-law. Uh, 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 uh. This is a surprise, huh? That is a very pleasant surprise. Where's Vicky? Uh, he's gone down the barber shop. He's got a uh, push a uh, uh, permanent and uh, facial. There's eight or nine men ahead of her. She'll be at least 20 minutes. Do come in and meet the pater and mater. Mater and the pater? What's the matter with that lug as he stuff? Ah, here's the man. Well, this well. is Mr. Whipsnade, Vicky's uh, parent. Ah, uh, Vicky's uh, pater now, Oh, how are you? Oh, I feel rather poorly, thank you. I got a little stomachache, a uh, bit of a big stomachache. I'm eating those canned cherries. They put them in the uh, Manhattan cocktails, you know. Don't agree with me. Yeah, Dad, you have put on a little weight, haven't you? Oh, no, no, I got a sweater under here. Always wear a sweater under these this clothes. This is my uh, father. Well, well, well. Uh, um. How do you do? How are you? How are you? You're 
son tells me you've had quite an experience with wild animals, sort of a big game hunter. Well, I uh, had quite an experience up at Lake Titicaca. Lake Titicaca, the uh, Bolivian uh, the, uh, Andes, huh? What time is it? I don't know. This chain, I just got it pinned in my vest pocket with a safety pin. Yes, up at Lake Titicaca, I had a wonderful experience with a rattlesnake. Ah! Stop it, stop it. My wife's allergic to snakes. She is, eh? How unfortunate. What's the matter? Mrs. Bell Goody fainted? Uh, stood to the whiskers. Get her, doctor, quick. Uh, as I was telling you, up at Lake Titicaca, this happened? rattlesnake. Ah! I don't know. Probably had too much to drink. Up at Lake Titicaca, this rattlesnake was under imprisonment under a rock. I took the rock and rolled it off the little fellow's back. To show his appreciation, he followed me down to the, um, followed me down to the wiki up. We were living in a little place there. A little Get us some whiskey. Yeah, give me one, too. Ginger ale on the sign. I followed the, uh, the rattlesnake followed me. Followed me down to my shack. What's the matter with these guys? Follow me down to the shack. Uh, that right, I put my, huh? What happened? I don't know. Probably drinking too much. Follow me down to the shack. Hello. Follow the rattlesnake. Follow me down to the shack. I took my socks off and put it over the snake. To show its appreciation, during the night, a marauder crawled in through the window. That's everybody in a hurry. Was there an accident? No, nothing happened to dogs. A marauder crawled in through the window. The snake, in order to Chinese people. The snake, in order to show its appreciation, sunk its teeth into the marauder's fetlocks, into its fetlocks, and stuck its tail out the window and uh, rattled for a constable. Dad, Dad, I see what you've done? Why? You've ruined everything. How? Oh. Mrs. Belgood has fainted. You know, attention to her, she's been drinking too much. Gangway, gangway, gangway. Why? Let oh. me handle this situation. Oh. I'm sorry I distressed you, honey. Honey? With that little story? Why, some of my best friends are snakes. Ah! Oh, you think you're outrageous. Come on. Carry her upstairs. Not dead. Don't you see? You've gone and done it again. I was trying to jolly him up, trying to make everybody feel at home. Well, why don't you leave that to Mr. and Mrs. Bell, Goody? All right, now let's get this thing straight. Now, where was the car parked? Beside the road. And where were you? Up in the balloon. Uh, now, no ice cracks, young fella. Now, who's cracking? No, it's the truth, Judge. We were up in the balloon. And then we bailed out. <laughs> then bail yourself out of here. Oh, but that's just the trouble, Judge. We haven't any money. Y then what did you call for me for? Come on, get him out of there. Oh, Put him back where they belong. Go on, get out of here, will you, Paul? But you don't understand, Judge. I'm going to be married tonight. Oh, you are? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're going to be married. I'm sorry, Edgar. Your Honor, may I leave this bracelet as security? Well. I guess it'll be all right. Thank you. Who's the lucky man? Roger Bell Goody. Must be a swell fellow. He is. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Edgar. I... Well... That's that. Yeah, I know how you feel. Did you get that name? Yeah, and it beats me how a nice young girl like her can get mixed up with a lunkhead like Bill Goody. How'd he get out of his scrape with that maid at the country club? Money. Oh. Did you hear that? Yes. She's marrying for money. Yeah. Well, that's her privilege. Yeah, but don't you see whip snakes in back of this? She doesn't love the guy. Well, what can I do? Yeah, well, well stop it. You will get a gun, dynamite, burn the house. Oh, no, no. We'll do something. Then suddenly from out of nowhere, bang, bang! Two shots rang out in the clear home air. Two blowouts, not a spare. That's quite poetic, wasn't it? Well, two boa constrictors who I uh, had previously befriended wrapped themselves around my naked rims, and off we went again. I can't understand what's happened to Vicky. She should have been here two hours ago. Well, at least she might have telephoned. Well. I go 300 miles on two tires and two bar constrictors. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! And I left us in the outskirts of the city. And a tow car came along and pulled us into Punxsutawney. Ferdinand.
Don't no, lift her carefully, gentlemen. It's all right. Uh, Thanks, help son. me carry her upstairs, please. Yeah. Carefully now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's very beautiful. Oh, Dan. But don't you think she's overdoing it a bit? Every time you look at her, she throws a dummy. Listen, Dad, I know you don't realize it, but you're just ruining Vicky and my future with those stories. Say, I could tell them that drummer's yarn. No, no, no. I could clean it up a bit. Oh, Dad. Listen, it's not the quality of the stories. It just is that you're talking too much. Come on in here and sit down. I'd rather, I'd rather be in here. It's cooler. Get away from those bar flies. What's that, a beaver's tail? By the way, how is your ping pong? Huh? Oh! Huh. Are you speaking to me, honey? How is your ping pong? <coughs> Fine, how's yours? You want to make anything out of it? Uh, uh, Miss Sludge, this is my dad, Mr. Whipsnade. Uh, Whipsnade? Uh, some name, yeah. <laughs> Does your father play ping pong? Do I play ping pong? Do I play ping I didn't get you the first time. I was one time champion of the Tri State League and the Lesser Antilles. Didn't know one card from the other when I started, <laughs> but I stayed up at night and marked him with a pin. <laughs> uh, so sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, that's okay. Uh, shall I, sir? Uh, no, thanks. I've had enough. Would you like one, dear? Uh, I'm serving. What are you trying to do? Make a drunkard out of me? <laughs> Nothing, really. This! Cease, you rat! You crunch! This doodle doll! Quiet! <laughs> Pardon me, dear, I'm hot. Pardon, dear. Nothing, dear, nothing. Don't get excited. Find your back. Cause the hailstorm I entitled in the Dakotas. Here, hold your butt, dear. We're coming. This is getting irksome. He's cut up my arm. Groceries and liqueurs. Oh. Now, look here, sir. Huh? You absent yourself from this house immediately. Huh? You Pharisee. You Pecksniff. You egregious Tartuffle. Tartuffle, is that good or bad? You're a fraud, a charlatan, and a rogue, sir. Ah, oh, is that my favor? Now, just a moment. You're talking to my father. Hey, call me a Tartuffle. What kind of a Tartuffle? Uh, two different kinds, male or female? Oh, or... Dad, this is no time for levity. This is no levity. You play yourself. Uh, mother! Mother? Yeah. Calling your mother, eh? Papa! Will you leave my house, sir? No, no time. Oh, Vinius. Are you all right? Yes, Gloria. I'm sorry, I'm Where worried. have you been? Oh, the funniest thing happened. Never mind about that. Get that father of yours out of yes. here. Yes, What's the matter? Everything. Why didn't you tell me he was just a, a, a person? Oh, that's enough now. Well, what's the matter with my father? Everything. He's... Common, crude, vulgar. Right, my mother. Oh, I'll you. sue you for defamation of character. Oh, I've been imposed on. Oh, I didn't ask you to marry me. Oh, I see it now. You were just marrying me for my name, my my, my social position. Why, you insignificant, egotistical little... And you're little... speaking to a bell goody. Right. And you're speaking to a whip's name. That's right. Why don't you get off the trapeze and come down into the sawdust where you belong? Oh, oh, you can't oh, talk to my mother. Oh, 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 you hold it up. Young man, if there is such a thing as a tartuffle, you are just that thing. One more peep out of you, 
and I'll give you a sound trundling, a pummeling, a trounce on hand, me woman, a trouncing. Ta ta, Paul, eh? Oh, uh, Whipsnade, your conduct is entirely reprehensible. That's him. Gilder sleeves, great snakes. Take ah! oh, it upstairs, Craig. Oh, Down for the Grampian Hills, children. I'll train to the chariot, my own flesh and blood. Uh, Gideon! Oh, you dropped it! Hey, sir! Swanky fares are concerned. I'm a square peg in a round hole. But don't be foolish. That was the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Yeah? I'm in love with Edgar. Oh, come on! Come on! Stop at the up. jail! Uh, what's that? Stop at the jail! <laughs> yes, I will. Yes, I will. Well, I guess everything has happened for the best. No women in our lives, Charlie. No. It's the open road for us. Edgar! Did you hear that, Charlie? Yeah. Wait for us. Dad, Edgar just passed us. Eh? That fire will overtake him. Come on, man. Come on, you hound. Get up there. Oh, oh, boy, 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 boy. It's a great race, folks. They're all heading for the state line. Whipsnade in front and Vicky and Bergen are neck and neck. <laughs> Glad I'm safe up here. <laughs> oh! 